So in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to transfer a sample onto a Nord keyboard using the new Sample Editor 3 software. I'm going to do this in real time so you can see how quick and easy the process is. So for my sound source, I'm using my trusty old analog synth. I'm going to create an audio file using the sounds from here, turn it into a sample and put it onto my stage 3. So the first thing to do is to record an audio file. So I'm going to do this in Logic. So I'm going to arm a track, hit record. Now I'm going to play some notes. Now you'll notice that I'm not playing every single note. And that's because the sample editor software will fill the gaps between the notes. So this sound will get mapped across the whole keyboard without me having to play every single note in the range. I'm also leaving a gap between each note and you'll see why in a second. So here is my audio file recorded, so I'm just going to quickly bounce that. There's my audio file bounced, and now I'm going to launch the new Sample Editor 3 software. So here is what it looks like with a redesigned layout. And to get my audio file in here, as it says here, you just simply drag and drop. So if I go and find my audio file I've created, there it is. Drag and drop it onto the screen, and there you go. You can see what the software has done immediately. It's split every single note up because of those gaps I left. But the really clever thing is it's detected the pitch of each of these notes and it's automatically mapped them onto the appropriate notes on the keyboard. So you don't have to do any keyboard mapping. On top of that, it's filled the gaps between these notes as well. So these sounds will play across the whole range of the keyboard. So without me having to do anything, this is ready to transfer onto the keyboard. And the way you do that is simply just hit the Save and Transfer to Nord button. And now it's transferring it onto the keyboard. You'll see as well, this is a very small file. It's only 997k in size. So that's all done. So now if I go over to the stage, here is my sample instrument. And here is the analog synth we've just recorded. And of course now I have it inside the keyboard, I have all my synth controls to manipulate the sound further. So hopefully you've seen how quick and easy it is to get a sound from, in this case, an analog synth into a Nord keyboard. Obviously there is more functionality in the Sample Editor 3 software, which you can use to fine tune your samples, such as dynamics and looping, which I'm going to cover in more detail in future tutorials.